I like our little kingdom. We're nothing too special or nothing too powerful, but we're hanging in there with what little strength we've got, you know? And I really like that. I really like that idea of just hanging on for dear life. So yeah, where's, our, where's the next war gonna be? It's gonna be in Italy somewhere. Do we go to war with Tuscany? And as a result, Hungary? Do we go to war with Mantua? Try to draw Hungary out, weaken them up a little bit for a future bigger war? And what do we do here? That's the, that's the real question, is what do we do? I think we do want to... I mean, what is what is Poland's army looking like right now? What is Hungary's army looking like, looking like right now? Because I think this is a, one of the better... This is a navy. Um, I think that is one of the better options for us, is um, get, get Hungary weakened up, you know? They don't have a great number, great manpower number. Uh, Poland is a lot weaker, though. Hmm, hmm. I don't know. Poland has more manpower, though. So maybe we do that soon. I think it could work. Especially if we're helping directly. I don't even think it would necessarily be that hard. Okay, so we do almost have enough money for this. Also close. Well here, just for like a little bit of time, get that, uh, where is it, institution spread. Get that going quicker in a couple of these places. We don't have to take up yet, though. We're not close to the cap yet. And you know what we should also do is do this. Uh, it's not a state. We can't do an edict. Crap. You know, I think it's actually good that we're not at war, though, because we have a we have plenty of aggressive expansion, and that is dying down. But yeah, uh, that would have been an issue maybe if we kept going, pushing for more land from Naples. I don't know, man. I just wish that Hungary and Austria weren't allied. How many favors do we have with Austria? Not a lot. With Castile and Poland, we have 23 and 24. I do think we want to do the Hungary War soon. I mean, now that we have a bigger navy than Hungary, it'd actually be a lot easier. We could easily get the war goal of Mantua first, and then go for Hungary. Because I was, oh no, Maria Theresa died. Because that's one of the things I was wor most worried about was um, not being able. Did we lose our marriage with you as a result? No. Um, that's one of the things I was worried about is like not being able to actually siege him down right at the start. Uh, oh, it's only. Yeah, you know what? The more I'm looking at it, the more I'm like, yeah, I think that's a reasonable war to do. I think I'm going to do that war before we end the stream. I'm going to do one more war, semi-major war. And that'll be it. They're Protestants, so most other people won't care. Hmm, hungry that is. And I don't think I'm actually going to conquer Mantua, because it's in Lom Lombardia. It's in Lom Lombardy. So, hmm. We finished uh, with the stuff there. Okay, Rebels should go away. Nice. Perfect. Okay, we should be able to buy it this month. I'm not going to buy it yet, though. There's no rush. We 
do also have the discount on buildings right now. Hmm. Spend my points on this. Get that diplomatic reputation. 380 takes us down to about 500. I'm going to do that real quick. Might as well. For fun. Could be really nice to do that too. Hmm. I mean, by taking the ideas now, we'd get... It would be a lot more, uh... It'll actually make us more... What was I going to say? It'll actually make the tech cheaper. So I might just do that. Kind of feel like, why not? You know? Take one more in each. But it is good to get tech on time. But uh, I'm going to wait a little bit. Wait till these things are all done. Wait till I get Sienna integrated because we'll get their stuff. Their navy too, though. We're gonna have a navy that is way too big. We'll have to see about that. I think at Tech Ten is when you can switch to a administrative monarchy, right? Hmm. Huh. Yeah, those are good. I want to do one of those. Might be 10, maybe 17, I don't know. Next month? Let's get more uh, more claims up on the Ottomans. Like that one. There we go. Nice. Alright, well Sienna is ours now. Oh, we just uh, got a mission to build buildings. Oh, because we have all this stuff. Oh, my God. Because we have all the stuff. We didn't even build it, but <laughs> we conquered a lot of it. Gain 50 admin and get building spree for 25 years. There's no reason not to use this now, but tax income plus 10 for 25 years. I think that's like a yearly number, but it's still like a ton of money. That's really good. Yeah, we'll absolutely do that. Um, what is our manpower looking like right now? Our limit, rather? Uh, not that bad. Not that bad. Definitely enough to support this, I, th I think, at least. Hold on. I don't know about our navy, though. What about that? Yeah, definitely not. <laughs> We're still able to support it, though, because of that buff, probably. Um, What is our navy limit at, actually? Well, let's just keep them all for now, and we're going to use them in that war that's coming up. One more month. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I think this is good. Uh, excuse me. That's annoying. Um, okay. Oh my god. I hate this game sometimes. We have a Regency Council, so never mind. We can't go to war even though we were literally just about to declare... Uh, wow, that's shitty. We're gonna have to wait for 10 years. Just about to go to war, and it's like, oh yeah, nope, no, you thought you were. Alright, that's probably where I'm gonna end the stream then, um, is in a little bit after... I'm gonna go through a little bit of time, actually. But, uh, no, that's, that's really annoying. I don't know, maybe Tuscan culture is better than Neapolitan. I think it actually is, like it has to be, but, um, yeah, whatever. 
Whatever. We could probably do both Tuscan and Neapolitan. Yeah. Uh, so let's get rid of one of these cavalry. We don't need eight cavalry, and I like to keep it even. But that's a good stack, though. That is a good stack. Uh, in fact, I don't know. I might also get rid of four infantry, though, or make a separate stack. But I don't. I don't know. Like we have thirty-five is our limit now. Yeah, we'll make a separate stack now. Um. Oh. Yeah, we can get marriages now, don't... Yeah, yeah, we can. Not with you, though. I think with you. No, not with you. Um, I'll start claiming against Venice. That's fine. We're going to lose claims on everyone, probably, by the time we get done with this regency. That's lovely. I do think we should just get rid of our... Since we can't use our ships now, now we should get rid of them. Uh, get rid of... So get rid of the four trade ships. We should sell them, if at all possible. No, you wouldn't buy them. Uh, if you're not going to buy them, probably no one else is going to buy them. Maybe, though? I mean, you'll buy them for 50? Sure. Better than nothing. There you go. Um, so we sold those ships to them. We need to get rid of seven more. Seven of our... I'd like to keep all of our transports, but I don't know, that's kind of excessive though, don't you think? Yeah, actually, let's get rid of seven cogs. Then we have 10, which is fine. Let's get rid of seven of these suckers. Uh-huh, what about Aragon? What about Castile again? Or Mr. Portugal? Definitely no. Really, no one wants them at all. Alright, well then I'm just gonna trash them. Very annoying, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, no, I'm not gonna do that yet. Mothball them, you know? Hey, thank you, Castile, for a gift. That came out of nowhere, but I already, you, you know, you'd already given me some money for your boats, but uh, hey, that's appreciated. So I think what we want to do is we want to make this a 30 stack, you know, round it up to a uh, good old 30 stack. And I'm going to do that now, yeah. You know, maybe you disagree with that choice, but I'm going to do it now. And then with you, we'll start building a new stack here. Yeah, I think that's fine. It's good to get the uh, get the institution well spread out first, and then we'll we'll be fine. We're gonna be making decent money, I think. Our maintenance is pretty high, even when have because of the fact that we have so many freaking uh, cannons. That oh my god, we're at also at half. That's why it wasn't halved. It was at half of ha it was half of no. You know what I mean? It was three quarters maintenance or whatever. I don't know. Ottomans have just declared war on the Mamluks, so that's probably gonna be the last one that the Mamluks can put up any sort of resistance on, which really sucks for them, but, you know, whatever. It is what it is. Kind of knew that would happen eventually. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Alright, so that one should come like next month. Yeah, the month after. This month, this coming month, it should be good. Yeah, you guys are just jelly of my stuff here. We have so many people we can get claims on now, it's great. So I think then we go on like, let me go for like Athens, right? Yeah. Keep fabricating on them, but I'm also gonna start fabricating on Naples. Your ally with the papal state again. Not a big deal. In fact, might be good for me. I really want to get Hungary out of the picture, though. They just, they're so annoying with their alliance chains and everything. Ah. Okay, I think we're going to uh, just embrace it now. Cool. Yeah, I think that's good. That was the right call, the right timing of that. Um, and now we got our tech. And I'm feeling strong. Got to wait a few years to go to go to war again, but that's okay. Gives us some time to build up things, build things up, you know. I kind of feel like we should focus admin now, honestly. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. That's pretty even across the board now. We need this tech, so yeah. Hmm. Things are starting to consolidate in Italy. Eventually we're gonna have to tackle one of these big guys. I don't know, I think we might just have to attack Hungary, not directly, but like through Florence or uh, Tuscany, you know, and deal with them that way. But hey, I'm gonna go on speed five because not much else to do. Oh, hey, we should. Uh insult someone or something, you know. Get our, um, let's get our stuff back up, you know. There you go. So we're fabricating on them. Let's start fabricating on Tuscany as well, you know. Yeah, bud. They converted back to Catholic? What? <laughs> That's hilarious. <clears throat> hmm. Pass the Pope Rat. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I think what I really want to do is get some shipyards going, or some uh, some manpower things going. You know, stuff like that is really helpful. But none of those are that good. I don't know. Do this one our capital maybe? Yeah, like doing those. Are, uh, that's really helpful. Right, let's get uh get that there. You know what? I'm kind of upset. Okay, so what we what we should do is let's go down to speed four. Our new advisor. Um, one thing we should look at is let's actually do the math and figure out which cultures in Italy are actually the best ones to use. So Neapolitan. I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna just gonna add it up manually in my head. So seven. So that's twelve. Uh, Twenty-one. Twenty-nine. Uh, Forty-one. 52, 86, 86, 86, 89, 99, about 100. Umbrian is 
about 45 plus 40, 85. So Umbreen is definitely not as good as Neapolitan, which I kind of knew. Here's the thing, what about Tuscan? So Tuscan is 25 plus 16, so 41, 50, 70, 85, that's about 101, about as good as Neapolitan. These are not the same here, they're Lombard. Lombard is definitely not as much... Or is it? I don't even know, man. There's so many good cultures here in Italy. So it's like 20, so it's 58, 59, 79... No, this is Romanian. It's about 100. <laughs> Romanian, 27, plus 16. So 33, 43, 43, 47, 57, 62, 72. So Romanian is definitely not the right one to go with. Um, Venetian is also, I'm pretty sure, not the right one. It's about 100, a little less, about 90. Ligurian is, I can just tell you, not enough. Um, Savoyard is not going to be relevant quick enough, and uh, Sardinian is definitely not enough. Sicilian is definitely not enough. So I think it really comes out, we could actually make three in Italy promoted and it would actually be beneficial. Really, it's Neapolitan, Tuscan, and Lombard. I think all three of those are about 100 development at their core. Let's look. So we're gonna, we know we're gonna have, by the end of the game, a bunch of promotable cultures. Soon, though, we're gonna have, like, another one from that. We already have, so we're gonna have four slots, we're gonna have three extra slots, then we're gonna get two from our ideas. So we have five cultures in the next 50 years that we can promote. That's a lot. So we should probably do you, we should probably use those spots. We don't need any of these. Um, eventually, we might get Austrian or Hungarian, but I don't really think that's a big focus for us. Um, maybe Romanian, you know. But uh, really, it's going to be... We already have Greek, so don't, that doesn't count towards our five new ones we're going to be getting soon. Turkish, maybe, you know. But that's probably going to be in later, so let's not count that. Neapolitan, Tuscan, even Lombard we can maybe do soon. That's three. That still gives us one extra spot that we could use on, on like, Catalan, which is also, like, just a, a really, really good one because it's pretty wide, um, widespread. Uh, like that, you know, we could use that, um, we'd use one spot on Catalan, one spot on Castilian if we get that far, and, uh, I don't know, maybe, and eventually Portuguese, eventually Akatan. I don't know, I don't even know if we need that, like, I don't even know if we're gonna plan on going into Akatan land, um, cause it would be, so let's count the maximum we might have, it's like one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine that'd be like late game though you know It'd be like nine and that would be we already have three we're gonna get two more that's five two more from this that's five plus plus four more we could definitely do all those. So I think that's, as long as we don't do any extra beyond those, then I think that's fine. And we don't even need Akatan, really. Probably don't even need Portuguese by that point in time. Maybe not even Catalan, you know? So, um, but definitely Turkish should be useful. Super useful. Greek would be super useful. And all the Italian ones we really want. So I think that's what we're going to do. I think I'm actually going to do Neapolitan and Tuscan and Lombard. And we can, if we have extra Diplo points, we can convert the other stuff to that, you know? Because, uh, I mean, otherwise, what else do we need it for? That's four. We already have five spots. And then Turkish. Yeah, no, we're fine. We can totally do this. So we should do that. Uh, for instance, with Siena. Siena is a great state. We should make it a state. We already have it, the core there for it. We have extra Diplo points right now. We, I mean, we have ideas. Um, but we should make Tuscan a promoted culture. Because we're going to be conquering... That's the thing. Is we're going to be conquering Tuscan spots. Or Tuscan provinces pretty quickly or pretty soon so yeah do that hmm I do think we should do 
We should have our naval base in our capital. Okay, we need to, uh, we should set, you know, get a claim on that. That's pretty much all we can get right now, I think, anyways, so. Honestly, I don't even think we really need that many, I'm, I'm not even going to be able to take any more from Naples, so let's get rid of that. Oh, wait! Oh, 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 Spain just formed. Hey, nice! I mean, maybe not nice, actually. It might actually cause them to sooner rather than later break their lines with us since we border them, but... Uh, that's okay. That's why we actually need to do come over here and do this. I'm gonna start Start improving with our allies, but hey, there we go. We got Spain. Spain does exist now. That is good and maybe bad We'll see it's gonna make them a stronger more unified ally against like the Ottomans, you know In fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna say just in case I'm gonna raise up our relations We're not gonna be able to use any favors for a good five years anyway, so Yeah, this is good. I don't like you, Tuscany. You're too strong. Hey, man, two is still alive. I was not expecting that necessarily. Oh, man, if I could only have declared my war beforehand. Get more states next tech, that's really good. It's all gonna be in Italy, really. And, uh, ah. Uh, that's good, do that. Yeah, that's actually good, yeah. Can we go the clergy and land without giving them more influence? If we can, we should. We could give them... Let's do that. I want them to be more loyal. I want to have their loyalty up to the next level. Oh, that's not enough. It has to be like 60 or is it 55? I don't know. It's one of those. One of those two. Hmm... Economy's coming down, and that's good. That's good. I don't care to fight you guys in Modena. Oh my god. This is why it was good that we switched and focused on uh, admin power more. I don't know, I thought those were really good. Hmm. Oh, the tolerance is really good. It goes well with our tolerance we already have. The manpower at the end. Oh, can't wait. Well, that's actually pretty good right now. Speed things up a little bit. Yeah, I got four years left. Hmm. I want Dalmatia, oh, but I also want Lika. I want everything. <laughs> oh man, I really want to. I'm probably gonna stream this on Saturday. Oh no, I can't because we. I think we're doing D and D on Saturday. Oh, I really want to get back to this game quickly because you know, I'm having a great time. You know, 
This is such a fun game. And we're doing all right. We got a little chunk of Europe. And not a huge chunk, but a little chunk of Europe. A good bit of Italy. You know, some decent provinces. We're doing all right for ourselves. Uh, hold on. Ideas. How many? I mean, how many years do we have? Five years. My relations. I don't want to do it yet. You, like extremely positive that it feels weird what <laughs> I don't know what you're asking um so anyway, let's look around at the rest of the world yeah stuff's going hey Tibet is over there they actually exist that's nice Ming is over here they got a bunch of tributaries who would have guessed Kilwa, uh, Ethiopia's doing all right for themselves. Mamluks, still not dead. Losing land, so Cairo. England, Denmark. Ooh, Denmark and uh, Muscovy are fighting. Hmm. Denmark is probably going to be a big power later on if they win that. Be an important war to determine Northern Europe. I think I would also like to conquer Croatia if I can. Oh, hey, that's, you know, that's okay. All right, uh, that's what we need to do. I'm too positive? Oh, I get negative at this game, especially. You must not have seen me last night, when, or not last night, two nights ago when I was streaming, and I, um, I got declared on by the Ottomans was super angry until I realized and then I had a complete turnaround. Yeah, turnaround. I had a complete turnaround when I realized I could just feed them Polish provinces and get out of it without losing anything. <laughs> Which is really bad, but that's what I did. So, yeah. But I, I mean, things are going well right now. I mean, the main thing that I could be negative about right now is the fact that we have a... We have had a 10-year regency, but we're halfway through that now. So, we're more than halfway. We only got a couple years left, you know? Not that bad. Not that bad. Hmm. Anyone got disputed successions? No. Spain, how are you doing? I want to conquer Cyprus soon. I, st <clears throat> I still want to go to war with the knights and then use that to get Cyprus and Venice in one. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, just make sure I don't run out of Ally to feed. But hey, I mean the good thing is, um and welcome to the stream by the way, but the good thing is that after that war then the Ottomans declared on me a second time and this was tonight and I managed to get back uh I managed to get Vlore and Epirus in a war against the Ottomans. I beat them in the second war, um, largely because of the fact that uh, we had Poland and Austria and you know Castile Aragon on our side. And so the Ottomans were basically like going everywhere and they couldn't focus and we focused them and siege stuff down and got them, you know, it was pretty good. They never got the war goal, so. So we got a couple of provinces from them tonight, including this mountain fort, you know. We're doing all right, we're doing all right. I don't like that. Uh, I feel like we should also build up some more shipyards. 
in our capital state at least. So we need more boats. That's a big thing right now. So we need more boats. We have a very naval focus empire, not a great navy. It's an all right navy. 24 ships, 14 of which are the galleys. No, I don't think we need to do that, honestly. I think we're doing pretty okay in Europe. Uh, as long as they don't attack... I think they're kind of... We've gotten to the point now where it's like the Ottomans don't want to attack us because it's more trouble for them than it's worth. They're just going to keep going eastward until they get strong enough. And meanwhile, we are trying to outpace them, you know? We're taking all this land over in Italy, and we should... If we keep going at this rate, we should outpace them to the point where they'll eventually just give up on attacking us and we'll attack them. But we really need to get rid of Hungary before that point, you know? And that's the big thing, is getting rid of Hungary, getting rid of the Hungarian alliance with Austria so that we can attack Hungary head on and just take up, you know, take out a whole bunch of Hungarian land, because that is what we need. We need basically any, all the Croatian and all the Serbian land from Hungary, and then we'll be good to go. Then we'll actually have a decent situation going, I think. Hey, if we could do that, if we could do that, we'll be okay. And then we'll have Italy, then we'll start moving to Iberia, then we'll attack the Ottomans. Yeah, we're gonna do the same though. We have the Regency, once we get out of the Regency, we'll be good. I'm actually going to fire this guy for a while. We have plenty, we have extra military points. We're probably gonna hit our cap. And I think we need money right now. I'd really like money at least. Oh, it puts us a little over. We still save more than we co than it costs us, though. No. Uh, Cause essentially I wanna build more shipyards. Uh, I do think there's a case to be made that humanist is not great early on. I was leaning towards... I always... Most of the time I go administrative. Oh, hold on, I want to check someone. Okay. Uh, most of the time I go hum, or admit, administrative early on because I think that core creation cost and the admin tech is really good. Um, I think that's really those are really good. That's my favorite thing to do. But, uh, but you know... I kind of wanted to go for like this uh, humanist religious, although I think it's gonna the age is probably gonna end before then. <laughs> uh, but also, I don't normally go humanist first, so I was like, yeah, it could be fun, and it's a really good idea group. But I, I think you're right; it is not great this early on. It's better on better like in the mid to late game when you're really starting to blob. This is like at the end of the early game, really. But yeah, once we get to 1600 is when it really starts to become good, because then you get. When you conquer new people, you never have any issues, but it'll still be helpful now, but I think you're right. There's other ones that might be better. That's okay. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. Well, um, I do think I'm actually going to wrap up the stream here because it is 2.45 in the morning <laughs> and I have stuff to do tomorrow. So I am going to wrap it up here. Sorry to do that, but um, we have been streaming also for like four and a half hours now already. So yeah, um, um, yeah, religious could have been okay, but I don't like I don't really like religious ideas. I feel like you don't using the benefits that you get from it a lot of the time. Whereas humanist is always in effect. It's more passives instead of the. I mean, the religious are passives too, but it's not uh, the missionary bonuses. For instance, once you run out of things to convert, then it's not as helpful. Humanist is always lowering the unrest, even when you have other things that raise your unrest. I don't know. I think there's a case to be made for it. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and host Flack Blag. If anyone is watching on YouTube in the uh, in in the future, if anyone's watching on YouTube, thank you. Um, leave a like and subscribe for more. As for people watching on Twitch, thanks for hanging out. And I'm going to wrap up the stream, so go ahead and watch Flack Blag streaming some Binding of Isaac, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.